Now, it is not an easy war where we will think that because the international people have come, then in the next two months or six months, terror will disappear. You remember that there is a coalition of international forces in, in Afghanistan in the last 10 years. There is still terror in Afghanistan. There has been a lot of international cooperation in Pakistan. There is still terror attacks in Pakistan. There has been a lot of work in Iraq. There is still terror attack in Iraq. At a point in Somalia, even the physical involvement of America was there. American troops were in Somalia. And it, it's, it's not an easy war. What I expect to happen is that with a greater international cooperation and technical support and sharing of intelligence, we'll be able to deal more with the threats of attack and bust the attack and pursue you know, uh, the insurgents, wherever they may be, uh, and attack them in their bases. But that does not mean that um, in the next six months or one year, terror may disappear. We, we expect that in this war, uh, the Nigerian armed forces and the, inter and the international partners should begin to gain more ground in terms of winning, in terms of stopping most of the attacks. But they, they, there is no warranty that because this cooperation has come, more terror will disappear overnight. The war is our war. And the only way to defeat this terror is for we Nigerians, we Nigerians to unite behind the president, behind the armed forces, behind our nation. A lot of the information required in fighting terror is going to come from Nigerians. Because these terrorists live in our ranks, they work with us, they grew up with us, at least for those of them that are Nigerians in the Northeast, they know them. So what we expect is for every state government in that region to reorganize their own security architecture. When I say security architecture, I'm not talking of the army, the police, and the security. But you know, in the North for a long time, I grew up in the North, I mean, we are from this part. A time used to be when governors were in charge of every place. They will, any little information, any movement towards any village, any threat through their boundaries, they will know. Because traditional rulers were organized up to the hamlet level. Now, with that kind of organization, intelligence will be easier. If there is any little movement or suspicion, that information will go directly to security, to the state government, to security agencies, or directly uh, to the security forces. Because a lot of the intelligence is going to come from Nigerians. It's the po cooperation among our people, among our political leaders, among our community leaders, working as one man, one man in dealing with terror that will, su will succeed in, defeat terror, in uh, defeating terror in the North. No matter the level of international cooperation, if we do not work as a country, as a united country, as a united people, with participation from every citizen, right down to leaders, this war will be prolonged. So this is the time for us to set aside all differences. Wh whatever differences there may be, our country must come first. Peace must come first. 